Okay, today we're gonna learn how to thread the Brother NQ 1400. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my thread and I'm going to put it on the thread holder. And then I'm gonna take the little cap and I'm gonna put it flat side toward the thread. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my presser foot is up. So you press that button, you make sure it's, it's, it's up. This will make the thread go smoothly as you're threading it. So then we're just gonna follow the numbers. We're looking at, up here is number one and number two. And we're actually looking for the numbers without the circles by them. So we'll start with number one and number two, come around this U area, and then we're just following inside the channel making sure when you come around this corner that your thread stays in the channel come all the way down to number three is down here and you're gonna go back up the channel to number four number four is actually a hook that's inside the machine so when you go all the way up and then come down it's actually catching on that hook even though you really can't tell that's what's happening number five is down here at the bottom so you'll pull it down the channel to number five number six is the tricky part if you see down here there's a little metal um, hook that your thread will go through so I like to hold it at the top and the bottom and kind of just bring it around and, and make sure it gets all the way through. Sometimes that's a little tricky too. Number seven is the piece that will hold the thread after you've cut it. So you'll want to wrap it around number seven. And then number eight is on the side. Um, it's actually the thread cutter. It's right over here. So you pull it back and then pull it forward and then you'll see the thread actually gets cut. And so the, the um, number nine is um, where you press this, this button to, um, for your automatic threader. But before you do that, you want to make sure your presser foot is down. So I actually like to press this little button right here make sure the presser foot is now down and I'm gonna go ahead and press this um, button on the side number nine and you'll see as I do that it loads the thread for you so that's a really handy thing especially if you don't have really good vision like me um, and the other thing I wanted to show you is when you're done embroidering always 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 make sure you don't want to pull your thread from the top even when you're done I know some people like to think oh, I'm gonna save a little bit of thread by doing that that's actually um, a really bad thing for your machine and can damage your machine um, your thread can get get caught up inside of it so um, what you want to do is make sure your presser foot is up and then at the top up here by this spool of thread you'll go ahead and cut it and then at the very bottom, you'll reach down by that needle and you'll just pull it and it just comes right out. And that's the best way to unload the thread from your machine once your embroidery is done.